picture you use, the jokes and the medication, the Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. Get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok videos you collected. It's not what he said, you ignorant wretch. Your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think like him should die. Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest they lie. Shout out to King AK47 because he is the one who originally broke this on YouTube that I seen. Plus, you know, I only rock with the home team. Let's get into it. Rejected teen drinker accused of smear campaign against Swanky NYC Hotel says he's sober. A rejected underage drinker accused of launching a wild smear campaign against the Swanky Mark Hotel in Manhattan, complete with paid protesters, said Friday he's now on the wagon. Theodore Weintraub, 19, who allegedly has the bizarre revenge plot after repeatedly trying to buy drinks at the hotel with a fake ID, told the Post he's been sober since January. Six months and 28 days, 209 days of sobriety, he said, it was the proudest day for myself when I made that decision. The Upper East Side teen, the son of a prominent doctor, said his former drink of choice was a powerfully boozy Long Island iced tea. Listen. I was young. It was a whole bunch of things he said of the cocktails he once guzzled. I sobered up. Weintraub refused to discuss the lawsuit filed against him by the hotel, which alleges he hired protesters to weigh signs accusing the business of supporting, can't say the P word, but Jeffrey Epstein, and denying the H word. Can't even say that. The teen allegedly grew angry and aggressive after he was booted from the hotel in the summer of 2021 when he repeatedly tried to buy drinks, according to the lawsuit, which accuses Weintraub of defamation. The suit claims he and other protesters began staging the bizarre demonstrations in June of 2023, roughly five months after he says he stopped drinking. They put a freaking, uh, it was, it's an error right there. So pay attention to the date of June 23rd, all right? I know what it says up here. It says published August 4th, 2023, updated August 4th, 2023. But when we go down to the bottom part where it says the suit claims he and other protesters began staging the bizarre demonstrations in June of 2023. Let's get into it. It says, one, King Kendrick Lamar is not a liar, and I am not a thief. Mr. Aubrey Graham Drake, Mr. Livingston Allen, academics, have until noon, Monday, 513, 2024, to retract your claims of theft, or my attorneys, Miss Adrian Edward, and I will exhaust every legal option available. So right here, you can see Drake is right here. It says, Mr. Aubrey Graham Drake, may this photo help jog your memory as to where you discarded those items. The issue and the photo should also jog your memory. Jimmy Brooks would not have been proud of you that night. You see that? That's Drake right there. It's your time. All right. You've had many things discarded on. I mean, you had many things discarded on your behalf over the years. I wonder if you can remember all of them. You're blocking my money with your lies. So you have forced me to get it another way. Push ups. Really? Should have kept that to yourself. Had you not lied, I would have just waited until you died to sell my goods. Two black American men became unemployment at this exact moment, and you made an enemy. See right here? All right. When Nino said, children of Harlem, stand up. P.S. We don't want to hear you say n -word no more, nor any rest of you foreign. I don't even know what this got to do with anything. How do you know you're not like us? We never came back after we cursed out the service providers. Yep, six months later, circus returned. Alrighty, so this is basically the guy saying all of this stuff. Subpar service not aligned with the Forbes standards. That's what you pay for. So why would you think there'd be no proof? This is all about Drake. All right. All right, let's get into it. Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa would have wore a condom. I'm sorry that you gotta grow up and then stand behind them. Life is hard, I know. The challenge is always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grow. And you're a good kid that need good leadership. Let me be your mentor since your daddy don't teach you shit. Never let a man piss on your leg, son. Either you got right there or pop that man in the head, son. Never fall in the escort business. That's bad religion. Please remember, you could be a bitch even if you got bitches. Never code switch, whether right or wrong. You're a black man, even if it don't benefit your goals. Do some push-ups, get some discipline. Don't cut them corners like your daddy did. Fuck what those empty did. Don't pay to play with them Brazilians. Get a gym membership. Understand, I'm throwing rocks and hiding hands. That's law. Don't be ashamed about who you with. That's how he treats your moms. Don't have a kid to hide a kid to hide again. Be sure. Five percent will copy him, but 95 is lost. Be proud of who you are. Respect comes from within. Got a group of stars that fail, but your daddy ain't hard to them. And you nothing like him. You'll carry yourself as key. Can't understand you right now. Just practice when you're eighteen.
My opinions are based off of articles that are published on the internet. So those are my sources and which I am citing. Anybody who wish to clear this up can 100% reach me on Instagram or reach me on Twitter. Now, do I know any of this to be true? No. But um, Drake, from what it seems, you lied. You all the way lied. And you know what is, what's more damning about it is when you said the Epstein stuff and he didn't say that. He said Weinstein. So you messed up on that. So if you thought you fed him that information, you 100% bricked on that. When you said that you basically fed him all the information, what type of man would allow somebody to play with his name and say that he messing with children? Now, you said also that if you did anything with a kid, that you would be in jail. That's not true. Most of those cats don't get caught. That's why we have victims. That's why they say it goes underreported, Drake. Now, am, do I believe that you messed around with kids and all that stuff? Ultimately, no. I don't. I don't. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. But is it possible? 100%. It's possible. I don't believe it, but it's possible. But you lied. There are women around here saying that you have kids with them. And they just so happen it's two women. I'm not going to put their... Names up on the screen or nothing like that, anything like that, but I could, but I, I don't want to ruin those individuals' lives because maybe you did like you were saying about Adonis. And some of you cats, some of you Drake fans are going to get on here and say, Seti Nash, you're a Kendrick Lamar fan. I'm not. I'm not a fan of anybody. Actually, I prefer Drake's music over Kendrick because Drake wrote the soundtrack to my clubbing day, so I appreciate him for that. But one thing I will not do is be biased. If you want further proof of that, just go ahead and go to my Instagram and you can see my reaction videos. And I'll be putting out the reaction videos tomorrow. Let's get to it further. Let's go further, further, further. Drake. There are two women running around to say you have kids with them. There are articles that are already out about that. The lies that came out actually came from you. They did. About Kendrick. We both know that. Now, ultimately, do we know of what's truth and what's fact and what's fantasy and what's fiction? Absolutely. But you did not plant that glove. You did not plant any of that stuff, bro. You discarded that in the trash can and there are there is proof. All that stuff is the stuff that got sent to Kendrick Lamar, not Viking you. Why would you do that? One of those pills that are on there, matter of fact, you know what? Let's go take a look at one of those pills real quick. According to drugs.com, what is Ambien? Ambien is a sedative, also called a hypnotic. Ambien, Zolpidem, affects chemicals in the brain that may be unbalanced in people with sleep problems. Insomnia, Ambien is used to treat insomnia. What? Wait, there's more. Ambien, Zolpidem, is usually used for sleep. It also uses as a date or drug because its side effects can be amnesia of events that occur while under the influence of Zolpidem. It reduces reaction time, impairs mental functioning and judgment, and causes confusion and an ideal scenario for an S predator. Whoa. Hey, yo, you. Can you subscribe and turn on that bell, too? Because when you do, you're helping unbiased, independent news. Now, let's understand something. Drake, you can 100% have been using that to get some sleep. You need some shut eye. But uh, you also could have been getting your Pill Cosby on, too. I got you, but I, I got you, buddy. I got you right there. I don't know if you did. I don't know if you didn't, but it's possible. I wouldn't put anything past anybody. So when I say what I say, please, Drake fans, understand. I'm not a fan of anybody. I support Drake's music. But when he lied and said Kendrick Lamar threatened to... Remove his music because R. Kelly got his music up. I mean, they're starting to take R. Kelly's music now. That's not what happened, actually. What actually happened was Kendrick Lamar's company said that. They said that they would take his artists away from there if they wasn't messing with R. Kelly. The stuff about Kendrick Lamar being touched on, that wasn't about Kendrick Lamar. You lied, lied on that part. You lied. You lied about your Coast Riders. You lied, lied about your cool so, bro, when you talk about these lies and stuff like that, bro, you're the one who's actually lying. And that boy said, if y'all plan on going with y'all move, he going to go with his move. So if I was y'all, I would remove that lawsuit 
if it were true. But if it's not true, Drake, get your revenge, bro. You got to win this in court. You have to win this in court. You have to. Because if you don't, bro, these allegations and all that stuff, they, there's still going to be people that support you. You put out a nice song, put out a nice bop. Hey, yeah, people still going to rock with you and all that. You won't be losing your spot. But those who dislike you will now have bullets for their guns to slang at you. And that's a war that you just can't win. Often at times we don't notice the people who love us because the people who shun us tend to have a different type of voice that we had to notice. But share to keep your people aware. Subscribe, turn on the bell, stay notified. Go to AK's live stream if you want the further details that goes into this from lawsuits of women and all of this stuff allegedly that is going on because... It's about to go down. I will catch on the next one. I'm going to go ahead and get into more YSL stuff that I know y'all want for the morning time. So be unaware of that because we do have some stuff going on. And like I said, I will be doing the reaction videos for y'all. Just give me a second. I got some stuff to dig up in these lyrics. And I'm not biased, so I'm going to be nodding my head to Kendrick Lamar's bars and definitely Drake's bars. Because Drake put out the better diss, Kendrick put out the better song is what I said. And then I see other people agree. So... I'll catch you on the next one.